Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to season four of the Choose You Calgary podcast, or welcome if you're new. I'd just like to introduce myself. My name is Aiden, and I am the season four host for the Choose You Calgary podcast. And I'm a current undergraduate student here at the University of Calgary, completing a co-op work term as a digital student recruitment ambassador. So on today's podcast episode, I'm joined here with Brianne Bauer and Claire Babcock, two students at the University of Calgary. And today we will be talking about first year friendships and how to branch out, meet new people, and really just get the full university experience by creating those bonds and relationships with your peers here at UCalgary. So Brianne and Claire are both students at the Haskins School of Business. Brianne is a transfer student from Calgary and Claire is an out-of-province student who moved here from British Columbia. So both quite different backgrounds and they will be sharing some stories of their experiences with the friendships that they've formed throughout their post-secondary journey so far here at the University of Calgary. So with that being said, please give a warm welcome to Claire and Brianne. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. We're so excited. Yeah, thank you. So would you guys be able to introduce yourselves a little bit? Um, so my name is Claire Babcock. I am a third year finance student at the Haskins School of Business. Um, I chose business because that was what I was most interested in. And I really love the University of Calgary because it is a diverse school. It gave me the opportunity to leave my small town in British Columbia and venture out to a bigger city. Um, yeah. I'm Brianne Bauer. Um, I'm in my third year and also I recently just changed my major to risk management and insurance because um, I took the intro class and I really liked it. Yeah, I'm originally from Calgary. I grew up here, um, but I went to UVic for a semester um, in the business program there too, but I just didn't really like it there. Uh, so I moved back to Calgary and now I'm at UFC. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Um, I guess that kind of answers my next question a little bit. So could you each maybe elaborate more on your situation coming into the University of Calgary and what really set you Calgary apart from other schools, in your opinion? Yeah, so I guess I can start. So again, I really wanted to move to a bigger city. Um, I am originally from Kamloops, so it has about a population of 85,000 people. So coming to Calgary with a larger population definitely was a major change. I also wanted a city that was accessible to my hometown. So there is a direct flight from my hometown to Calgary. So that was a major perk. And then back in 2015, I visited Calgary for the first time and I went to the Stampede and I just fell in love with the city and the atmosphere. There's definitely a vibrant, diverse population in Calgary with lots to do. So it just really gave me a gut feeling that this is where I belong and where I should go. So I decided to apply to the University of Calgary and I got accepted and yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> um, yeah, and like I said, I went to UVic uh, right out of high school for a semester, um, but I realized pretty quickly when I was there that I wanted to move back to UC. So yeah, I ended up moving home and then I applied to get into UC as a transfer student and I got in to asking. And yeah, I mean, part of it was like that I could live at home while going to UC, but also like Haskane is a really well-known business school in Canada. Um, and so obviously getting accepted there was super exciting. So that's why I decided to move home. Okay, so you guys got accepted and summer passes and now it's fall and it's the first day of classes. So I kind of want you guys to think back do you remember what your very first day of classes was like and yeah. how did you make friends in those classes? Yeah, so I stayed in residence, which was definitely a different experience that I'm sure Brianne and Aiden can touch on. So a lot of my roommates and floor mates were in some of my classes. So that definitely helped a lot and kind of eased my nerves. But there were some classes that I didn't have any um, friends already in. So I think the most important thing is just seeing someone or trying to find someone who might not sit beside someone they know, or even if they are, just turn around and say hello to them. They might not have been become my best friends, but someone I could just rely on to maybe ask questions about the course or just get advice on different things around the school. Um, and then another notable class that I had was 
Management Studies 217, which was a business course. Um, and that is actually where I met Brianne and Aiden for the first time. And it kind of happened naturally. We all kind of just were sitting near each other and turned to each other and started talking to each other. So it just goes to show how really good friendships can come out of just, you know, taking that first leap of faith and introducing yourself and just trying to be friendly with as many people as you possibly can. Yeah, I feel like going into this first day of school, I was like so scared because I feel like generally I'm a pretty shy person. Like Claire said, she would just like say hi to people. Like, I feel like I'm not like that at all. Um, but yeah, luckily enough, I met you guys both in the very first class that I was in at U of C, which was really nice. And then I actually met another like really, really good friend in an English class and we just sat beside each other and started talking. Um, and now we're like still best friends. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's lots of people out there that are like me, like shy to say hi and like it's a new school, new surroundings, but everyone's in the same boat as you and honestly I'm sure in every class there's lots of people that are too scared to say hi so like don't feel embarrassed and just do it <laughs> yeah I totally agree we're all in the same boat and mm -hmm. we're all there for the same reason obviously to get our degrees and take that class and um, it's important that we can all be there to support each other yeah that's a big one too like there's always just little things that I like would love to be able to clarify with like a classmate or, you know, so it's so nice to have at least like one person you can do that with. Yeah, for sure. And sometimes I find that talking to the prof with a friend about something is also easier because, you know, you're not as nervous and mm -hmm. you feel more kind of confident knowing that you're not the only one that's confused on that certain topic. So uh, can also be a good way to reach out to your professors with a friend or ask someone to come with you and it can allow you to build a relationship with your prof too and really get that support system in there too so yeah I totally agree yeah I think another thing another thing with that is um, I know a lot of people especially in first year or transfer students or whoever you are they put a lot of pressure on themselves to meet friends um, and just not let it go naturally. So I think just knowing that um, you are eventually gonna meet someone, it's inevitable. Um, and just try to take off that pressure from yourself and just focus on just being who you are and act natural. I think that's the most important tip that I would have for anyone. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I find too in like university, it's almost easier to make friendships because everyone in your faculty like has the same interests and like, I mean, most people are like hardworking and want to get good grades and you have a lot in common. So that also helps. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So um, just kind of going back to that very first point that you brought up, Claire, about how you were in residence and you already knew a few people in your classes due to being on the same floor or being roommates or floor mates. Maybe could you expand on how you made friends living in residence and if there were any challenges with that and how you overcame that and just your experience overall? Yeah, for sure. So I came to Calgary knowing absolutely no one um, and I came into residence knowing no one. So it's not like I could have picked um, like a friend to be my roommate. So basically, if you are new to the school and you're interested in residence, um, you have an opportunity to... Um, live alone or you can live with a roommate. I chose to live with a roommate just because it was more affordable. Um, and then you have the option to fill out a whole survey and try to find your roommate from a portal. If there's any advice I could give anyone going into residence is to really take the roommate application seriously. I do know a lot of people who had a really good experience through finding their roommate, but I do know several people, including myself, that had some more challenges. So in the beginning, I think um, the most important thing for me was just to meet everyone on my floor and be comfortable with everyone. And so that definitely made living in residence easier because my floor in first year, we all got along pretty well. And yeah, I did make some really good friends. Um, but again, it's kind of inevitable that, you know, some things might not go exactly as planned. But it's a first year experience. I think living in residence is a great opportunity for everyone. Um, to at least try once. 
um, and re some really good things came out of it for me. Like I met some really cool people and I just got to get to know myself a little more and like who I enjoy being around. Um, and also it's just part of the whole university experience. And the biggest thing with residence is to really enjoy the process and enjoy being there, but remembering that there's so many other things outside of residence and the floor you live on at the university because you can get comfortable really quickly. But overall, I totally would recommend living in residence to anyone. Um, even just having people to go to the dining center with for dinner every day was a really welcoming experience. Have you checked out the University of Calgary Future Students Admissions blog? Check it out by following the link in the episode notes to read about all things UCalgary, including stories and tips for future students. Brianne, similarly to me, you did go to high school in Calgary, um, so you probably knew quite a few people or knew of a few people at least that were going to the University of Calgary. So mm -hmm. how would you say... Or why would you say that it's important to branch out and meet new people and not just stick to what you already know? Yeah, I mean, there's no rule saying that you have to make friends in university, but like, honestly, I feel like a lot of the friendships I made in university are like long, like for life, more so than the friendships that I made in high school. And I don't know why that is specifically, it might be because of, you know, like similar interests. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, it's it's important to branch out and like, it's nice to go to, to U of C and know that like you have new friends there um, and that you're not just staying in your comfort zone. So, yeah. That's great. So what would each of you say are some ways that people can use that opportunity to branch out? Um, and if they want to explore other possible friendships and out, even if it's outside of their faculty or outside of their residents or outside of their classes, what would you guys encourage them to do? Yeah, I definitely felt that I was getting really comfortable um, in residence and I knew it was time for me after I kind of settled into the city and the university. And I figured out it was time for me to expand um, my network of friends. So I made a conscious effort to take various electives with um, people I didn't know or in faculties that I didn't know anyone in. So for instance, I took some French classes and Italian classes, and that was a really great way for me to meet people in all sorts of faculties. And then another thing was joining school clubs. So in first year, I decided to join my first club, and that was one of the best decisions I ever made in my university career because it gave me something to add to my resume and get some volunteer experience, but it also created a new community of friends with very similar interests to me. And it was just a great way to try new things, meet new people, and have some new experiences around the city. So yeah, I would 100% recommend every university student to join at least one club within their university degree, and also to try different courses um, outside of their faculty. Yeah, I'm actually in a couple of clubs myself, and I can honestly say it's been such an amazing way to meet new people who you've never had a class with before, or maybe you've never even seen before. And um, it's, yeah, it's a great way to not only gain experience, but work with different types of people and branch out. So I definitely agree with you there. Um, which clubs, Claire, were you a part of, or are you a part of, and what kinds of activities do you guys do to get to know each other a bit more? Yeah, so I, in first year, I joined the International Business Students Association, and I am still in that same club with a different role. I'm now the Vice President of Exchange Relations, and then I also joined the JDC West team Haskane this past year. So in the International Business Students Association, I was really lucky to be on the Exchange Relations portfolio, and that portfolio is in charge of running the Haskane Buddy Program. So basically what we do is we match international Haskane students with domestic Haskane students, just so that they have a buddy to help them around the city, help them around the school, and just to be like that first friend. So that was an amazing opportunity to meet 
all the incoming exchange students and international students um, and opened my network into new countries and places. And yeah, I've met a lot of people and have done a lot of fun things through that opportunity. We go to Banff every year, have different socials around the city of Calgary. So it was really a great way to meet new people from all around the world. And then in JDC West, um, it's kind of just a family experience. We all do case competitions and it's a very demanding club, but it definitely was worth it. But yeah, so I would totally recommend to anyone, no matter what faculty you're in, what year you're in, if you're a transfer student, international student, domestic student, whoever you are, join a club. It's just a really great way to open your network around the school. Awesome. So moving on from clubs, if you were to look back, not just on your first year, but in your overall UCalgary experience so far, is there anything that you did where you weren't expecting to have a friendship come out of it, but a friendship ended up coming out of it? And what was it? And yeah. So yeah, I briefly mentioned her before, but my friend Taylor, we met in English class and we always laugh about it because we remember like waiting in the hallway outside the classroom and I remember seeing her and thinking like oh that girl like she looks really nice and like I want to try and sit beside her and then after we became friends um, I told her that story and she was like no way like I thought the exact same thing about you like she had seen me in the hallway she said like I look nice and she wanted to sit beside me <laughs> which is so funny so then we actually did end up sitting beside each other. Um, and yeah, we like immediately just hit it off. Like, I think we were like originally just like talking about the prof, like that was like our first conversation. And again, like you're both in school at U of C. So like, that's an immediate thing you have in common that you can talk about. And most times you're in the same class too. So um, yeah, obviously we had that in common. And then every class from then on, we like sat beside each other and kept talking. And then there was like a group project too in that class, which, Group projects are actually awesome for meeting people. Obviously in every group, there's people that you like probably won't get along with the best, but usually there is like one or two people that you like really do get along with. So anyways, we worked together on a group project in that class and yeah, we like just became best friends. And now she lives in Vancouver and we still talk every day and we visit each other as much as possible. I know that we'll, we'll be friends forever. And it's crazy to think that we were just in a first year English class together saw each other in the hallway and like we're like oh yeah we want to be friends with each other <laughs> so yeah it's a crazy story but yeah proof right there that usually the other person is feeling the exact same way you're feeling yeah literally literally <laughs> so back on orientation day actually in first year um I remember I was in my orientation group and there was a girl who was in the same position as me didn't know any of the people really that much they just kind of met them in their group and so we kind of started talking randomly as we were walking and we've been friends ever since it was a super random encounter but it just goes to show that you can make friends in any situation at any time um so yeah that was definitely one of my first friends that I made and the most random experience but I'm super happy that I met her and yeah we still talk pretty much every day today and then another experience that I had was actually in my spring class in 2020. Um, it was all online because of COVID. And I was really nervous to take a spring class. It was a pretty, um, it was a senior level finance class. So I was nervous that I wouldn't meet anyone or know anyone and that I would kind of just be in this class alone trying to figure it out myself. But luckily, my friend Adriana reached out to me, or my now friend Adriana reached out to me. Um, I had no idea who she was, but she emailed me and asked me to be in her group. So I said yes, and we've been friends ever since. Um, I was actually in JDC with her, and we're both finance majors, so we take a lot of the same courses. And I've never met her face-to-face -face or in person, but we talk almost every day. Um, so that's definitely... A crazy experience and it just goes to show that yes online courses are scary and you might not think that you can meet new people online but it's definitely possible as long as you put in that effort um, even if the in the current circumstances is definitely possible yeah that actually reminds me in 
one of my online classes last semester, every lecture, my prof would always um, assign breakout rooms. And she says that she randomizes it, but every time I always ended up being with the same girl in our breakout room, like it would be groups of four, but me and her were always two of the four people. So every class we would always just have a chance to talk and it was almost kind of like we were virtually sitting next to each other every day because we would <laughs> just always be in a breakout room together so <laughs> yeah it was I felt like we were kind of friends and I feel like I agree with you on the online thing there's still ways to create relationships even during a virtual class so it's awesome um, great. So to end off, we're on our last question now. If each of you could give future incoming U Calgary students any advice who are just nervous about making friends or meeting new people, what message would you tell them? Well, like I said earlier, I feel like I was like the epitome of the most nervous first year about like making friends because I'm just such a shy person. Um, but like Claire said, it's going to happen. Like you're going to meet people, like whether that's like a group project or a club or you sit beside someone and they say hi, or you have to work with someone or there's like those icebreakers you do. So yeah, just be yourself and don't be nervous. And like, remember everyone's in the same boat and it's okay if you're shy like me, cause I'm shy and I still made friends and it all worked out. So yeah. Yeah, definitely. I a hundred percent agree with everything Brianne just said. I think the most important thing for any university student is just to branch out, try new things, get outside of your comfort zone. This is one of the most exciting times of your life, being a university student, and it's kind of where a lot of your adult life first kicks off. So I think just enjoying the moment. Um, I am now a third year, almost fourth year student. So just thinking back to the past couple years, I can't believe how fast that went. So always say yes um, and just take full advantage of the opportunity that is university. Yeah, and just to add to that, I just wanna emphasize that first year isn't the only time that you have to make friends. Like you have so many opportunities throughout your whole university degree, every semester, every new class that you take, there's always a new opportunity to meet new people. So don't feel like you have to make all your friends in your first semester of your first year, because I can guarantee you that you're going to be making new friends up until the day you graduate, probably. So, well, thank you guys so much for sharing all of your experiences and advice. I'm sure future students will really appreciate everything that you had to say and um, will really enjoy listening to your experiences. So thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Good luck to all of the first years transfer students, whoever you are. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Aiden. So I just wanted to give a final thanks to our special guests, Claire and Brianne, for being on today's episode. And thank you so much to all of our listeners for tuning in to learn more about forming friendships at the University of Calgary and all of the amazing outcomes that it can lead you to. If you are interested in finding out more information about clubs, residents, and other student support services that were discussed today, please check out the episode notes as I will leave everything linked there as always. And as well, if you have any questions for me, please feel free to reach out to me by DMing me on the choose.ucalgary Instagram or messaging me on the UCalgary Future Students Facebook page. I will be more than happy to chat with you on there. So once again, thanks for listening. And that's all for now. So we will see you in our next episode.